are they not with everything else? That makes me upset. Today we're here at the Hollywood Roosevelt in Los Angeles, California. Right off Hollywood Boulevard. Literally right near the hotel. In My the mess. Feet, your destination will be on the left. Uh, I just really don't know where I'm going. <laughs> this looks like an entrance. <laughs> I'm always fascinated by old historic hotels. And whenever I searched old historic hotels in, in, in LA, this one came up. So we decided we would book a room and try it out. Someone told me that this was haunted, but I could not find any accounts online about this hotel being haunted. I was wrong. We'll get into it. The check-in process was smooth. I will say it was a little hard to find at the check-in desk. Like it wasn't really well marked. Here's the thing about the layout. They even have like a little QR code you can scan <laughs> to get like a map of the place because because it's so old and it's gone through so many different renovations, there's just a lot of like, it's like a labyrinth kind of. Labyrinthine. Yeah. And honestly, I kind of loved that. Like when I first got here, I had to pee so bad. So I asked the guy, like, who was doing the check-in process. And I was like, uh, bro, do you have a restroom? He said, yeah, here's the code. So then I went and had to go find it, but it's kind of like around. Yeah. And then, I, yeah. I don't even know where it is. It was, we've walked that way. Oh, it's beyond it's the beyond elevators. It's beyond the elevators. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, uh, so then I, uh, you know, peed, did my business, and then uh, came back, and honestly, I was like, wow. But there are signs everywhere painted on the walls. So you kind of like, when you start looking at those, you can kind of figure out where you're going. We checked in, it was fairly seamless, although they made me sign two things that said we wouldn't have parties in the room. Interesting. Not that we were having parties, but interesting that they would have two things that you'd have to sign. It might be my age, maybe, that oh. they, it makes you then think maybe, you, who knows? I guess we are. I got in the elevator when I was coming up to get my camera. Did ask me where the party was, and he was asking if my room was where the party was. I said no, I'm going to sleep, but I wasn't. I was going back down to hang out with you, but he didn't have to know that. Weird. Anyway, the first thing we did after we checked in was we had to bring our bags up to our room because we didn't want to lug those around, and we wanted to check out the room. I do not feel fancy enough to be here. Oh, do you feel fancy enough to be here? Um, I just wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably best. I just chose not to think. Probably, probably best not to think about it. Look at this little, I love this little bit of mirrors in the cell over there. We're on floor seven. Oh. I couldn't make up a story about how we were going to, we, we specifically requested this one room that's haunted, but we didn't. And there is- Oh, we're like right here. Oh, right here. Look at it. Oh, well, room tour, room tour. Give me a tour of the room. Look, pretty basic, pretty standard. You got the haunted room? Oh, did we? Oh, good. Not at all. That's so cute! That's cool. She's got like, two little queen beds. Or full beds? It looks like full. You even have like a little. Look at that! Look at the view. That's the uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame. Right there. Oh, oh, yeah, well, kind, of side. Side. kind of a side. We got a nice, nice view of the air, condish. air conditioners. Did you ask him about parking? Oh, no, I didn't ask. It's, it's fine. okay. It's fine. Before the sun sets, we're trying to give you a little tour while the sun's still up. Of well, the we're place. trying to figure out. What's even here? You know, so, yeah. So the tour, first of all, has to be right here. Right. We got to do the tour. We got a nice little desk chair, big chair moment. Desk chair. Wow. Nice. Then we have uh, snacks that are not complimentary, so don't, don't eat them. Yeah, that is fair. No. Look, you even got little flip flops if you want to flip flops for extra charge. Only twenty four dollars. Twenty four dollars for a flip flop. It's too fancy wow. for me. Well, I don't even know what that is. Hollywood Resort hat. <gasps> That's, that's actually that's genius. That's genius. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Put merch in the room. All right, let's turn the lights on because this, this, this light fixture is cool. See me in there? All right, let's turn some lights on and see what's going on. There it goes. Whoa, there's a the light. That light's cool. That's sick. I don't know what's in here. <gasps> a walk-in closet. What the heck? That's so cool. A full-length mirror we love. A bathroom. I want to see, like, kind of vintage, kind of... There we go. Not like too fancy, but it does have all the bells and whistles you need. So like, I love, and it's smaller than I thought it would be, but it is old, an old hotel. Yeah, these it's have all been old. renovated. We'll talk a little more about the history in a little bit, but it's an old hotel. It's been renovated many, many times, but. But you can kind of see the bones are still like yeah, it's small, still like you know? Small hotel rooms. Still similar, but it still feels quaint. Yeah, nice. I like it a lot. We are staying here for two nights. We have a busy two like day tomorrow, so uh, we don't know how much we're gonna be able to do here at the hotel. We're gonna try to do the morning here. Complimentary water. Welcome water. 
Yeah, I think this vase is probably not complimentary. Do you know? Oh, yeah, right there. It's $11. But Boz has always been a little more expensive. Now let's just go around. And let's see go film. Let's go see what we can get into. Yeah. I'm going to get into the history of the Hollywood Roosevelt in a little bit. Yeah. But there's a fitness center. <laughs> Don't tell me it was a good time. <laughs> really, really love the pool area. Yeah, the pool area has like a really classic old Hollywood vibe. Yeah. With and a big like Hollywood Roosevelt sign uh, like above. And it, you like can see it from the pool. And the pool itself is really pretty. Yeah. In 1958. You mean 1985? There was a mural painted on the bottom of the pool. I don't think this is the 1958 mural because it's not really a mural. Yeah, so this was in fact the mural that was painted by David Hockney in 1985. Wow. This is a vibe though. Yeah, they have poolside rooms. Oh, I guess those two. Yeah. yeah, all these are. Uh, is this a newer build out? Like this area? Uh, I don't know. I think so. Wrong. The reason you couldn't find any information about that is because they were all actually built at the same time. Oh, uh, that's a cool shot. Excuse you. Yeah, we took a lot of shots of that area and we just kind of hung out. There was a really cool area with all the lights. But oh, it's the just, garden. Yeah, it's called that's the like garden. The, oh, it's called the garden? Yeah, it's right off the fitness center. Like, the fitness center's right there, and then I guess there's some other hotel rooms kind of back in there by that motorcycle. I think they're actually, like, bungalows or oh, something. Like, bungalow they call rooms. them something else. Yeah, they've got a different But there's name. that motorcycle over there. That's, that's cool. cool. That whole area is such a vibe, and it... You kind of feel like you're like, how am I right off Hollywood yeah. Boulevard right now? Because it kind of... It's like because oasis. the pool is, like, surrounded, and, like, that area is all surrounded by, like, rooms and, like, buildings. You don't feel like you're in the middle of Hollywood. Okay, not bad. Not too shop. I got some free weights, okay. Oh no, that's bigger than I thought it was. Oh, a place for me to dance. Okay, all right. We wanted to go figure out where all the restaurants were. The historic stuff, they redid a lot of this to make it look like it's original thing. Because a lot of these like archways and stuff were torn out right here. Uh, and painted sea green, sea moss green. They have a bunch of different restaurants here and like bars and things. Um, so we were looking at all the menus and- We're there's, trying to like figure out where we're gonna eat. Right, because we don't have time. There was a really fancy like fancy restaurant that we thought about eating at, but then we were like, we are not dressed for that. And it almost doesn't look like you're seating anyone right now. So like, maybe they're not no open. one inside. Yeah. The dining options are the Shirley Brasserie, the Lobby, the Rosé Cafe, which is the cafe that's out there by the pool. But it might actually be Rosé Cafe because it's a Y instead of an E. So who knows? The Tropicana Bar, which is where we ate tonight. Right. 25 degrees. The spare room. That's the one that I did. And then in-room dining. It looked like none of them were open. Or if they were, they were opening later. Because we were like right around eight o'clock, which would be, I would think they would be opening. You would think. We're gonna go to the Tropica bar, Tropicana bar outside by the pool. Because there's tacos. Tacos. Because the guy who checked us in said that they were his favorite. Yes. We're not drinking this year, so it's kind of like hard to like review cocktails at a place we aren't drinking. It's very challenging. Bit of a challenge. <laughs> But we're gonna do our best to try the food. <laughs> I was starving. And the last time I ate was this morning at a lounge in Denver. Let's talk about our ordering experience. So we get there, we sit down. Paul decides he wants to go get the camera. So he leaves. Dark. I'm waiting for somebody to take my order, but I don't realize that I just need to go tell the bartender what I want. So I put up some stories. Then Paul comes back down and goes, oh, I think you have to go up and tell him what you want. <laughs> so then he goes and does that. High five, Paul. What did he say? He's a chi I thought he said chicken. Steak or from his pork. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was the chicken tacos, but I could be wrong. Paul was correct. It was the chicken tacos. And we failed to order them. All right, tell us what we got, Paul. So I went up to the bartender and I ordered carnitas tacos, barbacoa tacos, and then half a dozen wings that were mango, passion fruit, habanero wings. But they were like in a peanut sauce. It was like a peanut, it was like it a thicker sauce. It was so good. It's not peanut sauce, they, um, the animated in Haiti. Yeah. It tastes like that, but spicier. Oh, interesting. There's something fruity about it. Passion fruit, mango, habanero. Oh. And that was like the starter, but like they all came in at the same time. And it, did, it took them like 15 minutes, and that's pretty quick for food, you know? 15 yeah. minutes is pretty quick. It felt like we were there forever. But it wasn't because it took forever, it's because it took us forever to order. Well, it took you forever. I ran up to the room, so. Yeah, so you weren't, yeah, as, yeah. You weren't waiting there as long. But <laughs> <laughs> so first we had to eat the wings, because that was the starter, you know. And I have to say right now, I would eat a hundred of these. Like, 
the heat level was pretty high. Like it was hot. They're spicy. But then the the, the sweetness from the the mango and the passion fruit and the peanut sauce, it had such balance to it. It was so good. Perfect. Perfect. Very tournament. balanced. And then we had the I had the barbacoa ones, but we shared them. So like I had the barbacoa and the carnitas. And the carnitas. Right. The barbacoa and carnitas. Yeah. Let's go on a journey. <laughs> yeah, that one's definitely the better of the two. Yeah, you like that better. The barbacoa we really liked. And normally I'm so not like good. as big of a fan of barbacoa. I was kind of nervous to get that one. But for some reason, they whatever they did with that barbacoa was so good. It was smoky, it was tangy, it was good. It wasn't yeah. very spicy. The sauce that came with it was good. I kept dipping it in the ranch that came with the wings. Oh, really? And that was good. It was good. Yeah. Uh, on the carnitas, they had a like a green chili sauce that I loved, but honestly, carnitas has never really like. It wasn't my favorite. It was not my favorite. Not not. not I kind of wish we would have gone with the chicken one. Yeah. You know, in hindsight. But here we are. We needed to find out after getting some food in our system if this hotel was in fact TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts worthy. I would say we had to figure it out. So we went and did that. Right in front of behind. This might be a really funky frame, but I kind of like it. I just don't like that our faces are like right where the text normally is. Uh, I am doing like a yaw push. Okay, I'll try. Okay. I wish you had crossed me there. Let's do it one more time. I, I, you were a little bit. Oh yeah, you were a little bit. The reality of most of our fil TikTok filming is that most of these takes would actually work just fine. And honestly, like this one was just like supposed to be super chill. The blue, I love the blue. I love all the colors in this. <laughs> I know. I lean so much more than you do on that. I know. It's I kind of like, want to do it again because I saw you do that. Do you want me to lean less? No, no, I want to lean more. Uh, okay. Is this? Yeah. No. That's it. I think that was it. I think that was the take. This is it. We can't retake it, so. We started a little weird, but it's fine. Head, my head is all over the place. You keep your head to the front the whole time. My focus is like, ugh. Your focus is all over? Watch, just watch our heads. Like my head is like, because I'm thinking about that leg, that foot. I mean, they were looking at each other, which is fine. There, I look over, over. The hat accentuates it, which is hard. But then here's where it gets a little messy. That's the I'm looking. I don't think it's that big of a deal. <laughs> totally forgot where we're at in the dance. I think it's fun. The colors are all yeah. so fun. Yeah. The conclusion is, this is YouTube Shortsable, but you just can't be too particular about it. Very TikTokable. I'd very, say. very TikTokable, I'd yeah. say. No, and no, no one stopped us. No. No one no. even really watched us. Honestly. I think Usually that's the nice like... part about LA and New York is no one really cares. I think but just look at this view. I know, it's so beautiful. It just feels so old Hollywood. I love it. Such a vibe. Luke just asked if I went in to do a dance on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, like all the other dancers do, and I said, no. <laughs> I would do it, but it would be my nightmare. Yes. I love this vibe. This vibe, and then also with this in the background. I know. <laughs> oh, wow. This, this music is just making me dance. Oh. Oh, then we went walked out, we went outside. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go out on the... Hollywood Walk of Fame. Oh. Alrighty. Okay, so, the, on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Mickey Mouse has a star, and Walt Disney has two stars, one for his work on television and one for his work on movies. My goal is to find all three. Okay, let's do it. I mean, close. Not <laughs> one of his creations. Well, Snow White wasn't. Though. No, but the movie. Hans Zimmer. I'm making. Where's Howard Ashman? Not exactly who we're looking for. Disneyland! I feel like we're getting close. Oh yeah, Winnie the Pooh. Donald oh, yeah. Duck. Okay. I would assume Roy O. Disney. Oh, Phil Collins. Where's All those Disney characters and Mickey Mouse and Walt Disney are not with them. Okay, Mickey Mouse. Well, we didn't find it, so we're gonna try to loop back toward the Chinese theater and see if it's back that way. <laughs> I just thought Mickey Rooney and I was like, Mick, no, that's not it. Wait, is that us? Oh, no, 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 no. Looks no. <laughs> at the Dolby Theater, he thought maybe, because there's a couple extras over here. It looks like they were prime real estate. So. Prime real estate, but they weren't it. First one. Found it. Chinese Theater. We found him. 
my intuition was correct. Also, I believe that Mickey Mouse signed one of those. I found Donald Ducks. But that wasn't a part of our original mission, so we're gonna keep looking for the two Walt Disney ones. Oh, finally! Finally! <laughs> yeah, that's forever. We about gave up? I know. The film one. I think we need to find a television one. Okay, Walt! Yes, I know, I was cheating. I looked it up on Google, and originally it said that there was two Walt Disney stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Maybe there is, but we can't find any information about that. We only found the one that is this one. Yeah. The Walt Disney one. So. And Mickey Mouse. So. And we found every other one that is related, like we like looked up that was like related, like Dick Van Dyke and Julie Andrews. We didn't show all those. Yeah, we it's didn't so see them all. That, that was an adventure. I enjoyed that. I don't know if I'd feel necessarily safe. Yeah, I wouldn't do that by yourself. Mm. Not at night. It's a little sketch. During the day, probably is totally fine. This I, this hotel safe. I they so got safe. security on guard. I feel so safe. Going out on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> I put my wallet in my front pocket and held my hand on it. That's all I gotta say about that. Kind of a cool shot if I say so myself. I just love this little hotel room. You just like, can you imagine how this is like a studio apartment? Have a little kitchenette in the corner. Like your bed over here and a little couch. And a desk. I would really love the idea of like a little studio. As long as you had a closet. It would be snug, but I do think this would be a really cool layout. Well, like, for one person. For one person. Like, uh, we could never, we I, could never I, I could not share. Would you like to tell us a little bit about some history? Yeah. You were telling me, Luke, earlier about how Walt Disney came here one time or something with, like, anima animators. So Walt Disney, when he lived in Kansas City, came back and worked at a place called, like, Hesman Ru Rubin Commercial Art Studio. Oh, okay. It's literally really close to Crown Center. Oh, On in that, Kansas like, City. Okay. on ground. Yeah. Wow. Um, and all a lot of the guys who worked at that animation, he kind of, like, learned a lot about animation there. He taught himself how to do animate, but... He learned a lot from that job as well. Sure. But a lot of those guys went on and came to California and became Major, well known yeah. in their own right. But when they were in their 50s and kind of like in their established careers, they had a reunion here at the Hollywood Roosevelt. Whoa. Which is crazy. Cool. Cool. So they did it in the ballroom. I can't find that information online. That was actually just in a D23 presentation we just saw. I took that information because we were coming here. I was like, that's so cool. This hotel was built in 1926. Whoa. Yeah, crazy. Long Wait, 1926? 1926. I thought it was 1800. I don't know why. There's four main people that they talk about kind of crediting for making this happen. And one of them was Louis B. Mayer. And Louis B. Mayer was actually one of the co-founders of MGM. No way! Like the guy who owns all the casinos and then also the like... The Lion. The Lion. The yeah. li in the movie production yeah. studios. Movie yeah. production studios. MGM. MGM. Then there's Mary Pickford, who was a woman who kind of helped make Hollywood become what it is today which is like movies and stuff i don't know popularized the movie industry i think here in hollywood uh, she was an actress uh, a producer screenwriter film studio founder a pioneer of the american film industry oh kind of cool then there was douglas elton fairbanks senior and he was a filmmaker actor best known for swashbuckling robes and silent films he was kind of a part of the silent film era oh Super cool. So wait, wait, were they investors in this hotel or did they were like influential? It was financed it? by them. So uh, yes. Yeah, so I yes. So I guess they were like investors in the in the process. The last person that they mentioned is Sidney Patrick Grauman. And he was an American entrepreneur. And he is best known for being responsible for the Chinese theater and the Egyptian theater. Oh! He's very so much I'm invested sure that... in Hollywood Bull Boulevard. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to have movie premieres and stuff over there, you want a hotel, a fancy hotel that people can stay at, you know? Yeah. It, that's going to make sense uh, yeah. financially for him. So for the first 25 years of, the, of its existence, it, it existed in that way. It was a very expensive, very classy. In 1929, they had the first ever Academy Awards here. And uh, it was just in the, the Academy was the only people invited. And this is four years before they even started calling it the Oscars. Oh, wow. So it was just like the 200 mm -hmm. members or whatever. I like, think, according to this Wikipedia number. page that I'm right. reading. So this was built in 1926. Wait, 26. And then by 29, they were having, like, that's pretty established at that point. Regardless, the hotel went into decline in the 1950s, and they decided to tear out all of, like, the big archways and beautiful, I guess, oh, mosaics sad. and different things, and paint everything CMOS green. Sounds like the 50s. How long did that last then? From the Until 85. Whoa. Man. But then they used the original blueprints in 1985. Radisson... Radisson Hotel Group, mm -hmm. they bought it and they used original blu blueprints and photos from the original, I Re guess, pictures designs of the, the designs. 
and, and embarked on like it's like 35 million dollar renovation. renovation to bring it to its original glory which i think is kind of cool that they wanted to bring it back i know especially because now it looks like so cool <laughs> huh? might as well <laughs> It's very design heavy, sharp edges, and then nice archways. Um, it kind of went through a lot of different like owners. Okay. And so there's been a lot of things that have happened throughout the time. There's another $25 million renovation in 2015 for the rooms. And that's when they updated the rooms. So these rooms are very updated and they look yeah. beautiful. They look awesome. They look there were several films that would have been filmed here. Oh, wow. Many of which I didn't know. So I don't remember them. But Catch Me If You Can with Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio was here. I love that movie. Cool. I do like that um, movie. Also, part of Lucifer, that new show. Oh, interesting. Was filmed here. That kind of well. makes sense. Also, you'll like this one. There was a scene in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <gasps> shot here as well. What? Which one? Which episode? Does it say? Out of the Past. Oh. Yep, yeah, I don't know any of those other movies. <laughs> oh, this is a fun fact. The Golden Raspberry Awards happened here, which is where they awarded the worst movies of the year. They just they awarded the worst movies of the year here? Yeah. Oh. Oh, on numerous occasions. It doesn't even say here. Oh, it's just the place that yeah. the Raspberry Awards. Golden Raspberry Awards. Best to the worst. If you but can't honestly, have them both. If you can't have the best, have them both. You know what I'm saying? I mean, true, I guess. I yeah. love that. I wish uh, they would invite me to the Golden Raspberry Awards. Honestly? That's a vibe. Raspberry. Can you imagine getting a, a Golden Raspberry Award? Ew, no, I'd hate that. That'd be kind of cool. Actually, it'd be kind of cool. It'd be like an Emmy, but like, I have a Golden Raspberry. I was nominated for a Golden Raspberry. Notable residents and guests. Marilyn Monroe lived here for the first two years of her like time in LA and posed for her first commercial shoot outside by the pool. That's awesome. Shirley Temple learned her famous stair step dance routine on the hotel stairs. <gasps> That's so cool. What? Elizabeth Patterson, mostly known for her role as Mrs. Tremble on the classic comedy I Love Lucy lived in this hotel during her 35 year film and television career. I guess, you know like in New York where yeah. people would say like there's like celebrities that live, like have residences in hotels. But I guess you probably have suites. Like they're not like a room like this. I no, I'm assuming Something that they like kitchenette at least. Yes. Are there still premieres that happen at the Chinese theater? I mean, I don't know, maybe. I assume so. There was a lot of people in suits out there tonight, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, why not? Maybe this is really expensive. What, the movies? No, like to have a premiere there. Anyway, uh, I'm kind of losing steam. I'm gonna go to bed. Do you think we'll hear any ghosts? Look, there's literally nothing about ghosts in all of your research. I just think there's always a little, something a little fun about having a little bit of spookiness. A ghost witch? Yeah, a ghost witch. Do you think Marilyn Monroe's ghost is here? That lady be scaring me. You know? She says like this. She says, <gasps> I'm falling off the bed. That's so weird that we said Marilyn Monroe because in my research after getting home, I did find out that Marilyn Monroe's ghost has been spotted on site at the Hollywood Roosevelt. In fact, she's the most frequent viewed. Um, her and a little girl named Caroline who goes around in a blue dress and says that her name's Caroline. There's not really any history known about Caroline. Anyway, I guess Montgomery Clift and Errol Flynn are also known to haunt the hotel, but there's way less documentation about them. I'm gonna go to breakfast. Well, just 25 degrees kind of feels fancy. Like it has like a fancy bar and stuff. So I feel weird going down there with like workout clothes because we're just gonna go work out. Now nah, it's too much work to change and then change again and then change again, you know? I was just gonna do my workout clothes. We did in fact try very hard not to order the same thing, but we ended up ordering the special eggs and egg. And coffee. Listen, I was gonna order like pancakes and like the breakfast and go all out, but the problem is that we have to work out after this and I'm not about to. I'm gonna show you all the gym. Yeah. It's for research purposes. Yeah. A workout for the <laughs> research purposes. <laughs> Friends. It's a barbacoa eggs benedict with cilantro haagen sauce and pickled red onions on top. Oh, and cheesy hash browns on the side. Pickled, pickled, Nice. They're crispy. It's so good, it makes me want to dance. Oh, oh. Yum. So good. Honestly, I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna it might not be that much food, so we'll feel good to work out. I'm feeling a little bit full. Oh, a little bit bloated. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Should we do more upper upper body focus? I think so, I think so. Now we're trying to save time by wearing my swim trunks. <laughs> to the gym. The weight range 
on these kettlebells is pretty intense. For a hotel gym, I'm kind of impressed. The dumbbell, the dumbbell rack doesn't go to 100, which isn't a problem for me. I can't do that anyway. <laughs> yeah. How high does it go? To 70. That was a personal record for me. I've never done 70 pound, 70 pound dumbbell presses. 15 sets before. 15 reps. That's what I meant. This is the barbacoa. Uh, Eggs Benny that got me through. Let's go. Let's go. 15 sets, or 15 reps. Hold on. We have 15, 15 reps on. Press up kickbacks. Press up kickbacks on cable. Single arm. Single arm. And then, we're doing 25s, and we're doing drag curls, so keeping our elbows behind our back. And 15 of those with the attempt at 15 lateral side, side raises with the 25s. So I 100% got 12 and 12. I did not get 15 and 15. I'm dying. <laughs> get, right get in the night right away? Maybe if we get some coffee. Coffee, and then you can get in the water. <laughs> what place in Curacao? What place in Curacao? That one um, Airbnb. Rental, yes, Rental. Yes, with, the wa with the wallpaper. Yeah. And the gold. I love like it. Like yeah. The pink. Yeah. That's a vibe. Just gonna lay out here in the sun. <laughs> in the sun yes, for a bit. In the sun. California. The California clouds. <laughs> you're not showing up today for me. Oh, you're mad. I'm mad at the, actually, no, I'm not. The lighting is nice. Yes, it's very soft boxy. Soft boxy, yeah. <laughs> Makes my skin look good, right? Yeah. But I wanted a tan. <laughs> really? I kinda wanna jump in the water. It's not that warm, but it's, uh, the lady... It's currently 64 degrees outside. It's 64 degrees outside, but uh, the lady the lady in the lobby told us that uh, it's heated and you would be just fine. Just grab a towel before you go so that when you get out, you just have, like, a blanket. The American Clouds really good. <laughs> well, you sound surprised. Well, whenever it comes out of, like, a machine and not a real espresso machine, I'm always a little bit skeptical. Yeah. And it's not, like, a, a pretentious thing. It's just typical, like... Like they, they try to calibrate them as, as close to the, the, like as legit as possible. And technically it's doing a legit process inside, but it's just, it removes a lot of human error, which is good. It makes it consistency. It makes it consistent. But because, so because of the use of like dialing in and things like that, it's not allowing you to do any of that. So there is room for human taste to be affected. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not like dialed in every day and there's different things. It's hard, but it's really good. <laughs> But it's like kind of basic, like cocoa flavors, like very, very bright, but still bitter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you, are you shading me? This much. This much shade. Now y'all see what I deal with on a daily basis. Thank you for doing that. No, you see what I deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> oh. I don't want tan lines. So you're stripping. Yes. <laughs> I don't want tan lines. You can still get a tan when it's cloudy. Not as good, but you still can. <laughs> also, the sock tan lines, because socks have now gotten taller, sock tan lines are a thing. And if I decide I want to jump in real quick, I want to be ready. Oh. Okay, same. Out with the old and in with the new. I love High School Musical too. This place kind of reminds me of High School Musical too, but not really, like not at all, but like kind of, you know, just tropical vibes. Are you filming that? Yeah. Oh. I know it's only 60, what, 64 degrees, but it actually, even without your shirt on, it actually feels fine. Luke takes off all his clothes so he doesn't get tan lines. Also Luke <laughs> covering up with a towel because he's cold. So cool. I would love to get in the water, but I'm so scared. Oh. It's so warm. It's so hot out. <laughs> <laughs> that was like so dramatic. So a lot. You put your head in. Oh, yeah. I did this for you. It's weird without lines on the bottom because it is yeah, such a long like, pool and it has like the Olympics. So you can do this. Dip. Zumba. Could I get much higher? 
My spirit takes off. Ah. Oh yeah. And it just core. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like we were like lazy and doing it in slow motion, but we were working so hard? Hey, do you want to play mermaids with me? No, I want to get out of the water is what I want to do. <laughs> There's something about being in a pool and being wild and crazy like kids. Yeah. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a permanent flex. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, I'm getting out now. It's healthy. Oh no. Oh. I slipped. <laughs> Just slipped and fell. No, did we splash my clothes? Impression draft, I should shower. We found another fireplace. We're taking a little stroll from the Hollywood Roosevelt down to In N Out Burger because we're in boys LA. You have to go to In N Out Burger, and this is the only time we have to do it. The floor is slippery, and I almost have a He's a thick boy. Oh, wow. Just paid for parking, 30 bucks, here comes Luke. Well, y'all, that is it for our stay at the Hotel Roosevelt. I know. Hollywood Roosevelt. Hollywood Roosevelt, that was so fun. They use like, is it texting or like a website service? It's a texting service. There was an event in the lobby for most of the day. They texted Luke and said, hey, so sorry for the inconvenience, the lobby's closed. So if you need like to get through here, go, go around these routes. And let us know if you have any questions. That's it's so like cool. kind of so personal. Like, something with such a treasured past, I think, and, and such a like Hollywood glam, I guess, history, and, and it's changed a lot of hands and it has a crazy amount of, I don't know, it's gone through a lot, but it still has maintained a level of prestige throughout all of that. And I think it's it shows. It's, it's very, very, very fascinating. Very I cool. loved it. But now we're heading uh, to Disneyland with uh, for a frog hop. In conclusion, that was a nice hotel. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Nice. Anyway, we'll see you uh, at Disneyland. Oh, we did a premiere there. We did. Locked up. All right, don't die, bye. A special thank you to Matthew, Mark, Morgan, and Webster for being the realest of the real ones over on Patreon. If you want to join our team, head over to patreon.com backslash twinsauce or use the link below. Mm -hmm.